This video will cover some of the basics of Google Slides to get you up and running. In it, you'll learn how to create a slideshow, how to name and share it, how to insert images, links, and videos, and how to use the new Explore feature. To start, let's get to Google Drive, click on New, go down to Google Slides. If you want, you can actually create it from a template or a blank presentation. For today, we're just going to do a blank presentation. So I'll click that, it'll open up. Just like with anything else in Google Drive, the most important thing to do first, name your file so that you don't have 10 different files named Untitled Presentation. So I've named it, now it's easy to find in Google Drive. If you would like to share it, sharing is the exact same as Google Docs. We'll go over it quickly, you click Share. For a small group of people or an individual, type in their email, select their editing privilege. So edit means they can change it. Comment means they can add suggestions or comments, but not actually change the document. View means they can only look at it. If you're sharing it with a large group, make sure to get the shareable link. This is something you can copy and paste into an email or anywhere you need to so that people can access it. Again, just like with the individual sharing, you want to make sure you have the correct access for people with this link. So I'll send that off so that it's shared with that person. Now you'll notice I have text boxes here. So I can add my title, I can add subtitles. If I'm ready to add a new slide, I can either just press the plus sign, which will create a new slide, or I can click this little arrow next to it and create a slide with a different layout. So now that I have a couple slides in here, you'll notice they don't look super pretty. You can click on theme, you'll notice it opens automatically. Over here, if I change this, it will change the theme for the entire slideshow. However, Google has now added the explore feature with a bunch of different looks. So if I click on explore for each slide, I can select a custom layout or look for it. And you'll notice it's different on each page. So it responds to the layout of the actual slide and then it'll give you something that you can use. So there are my different layouts now that I've used the explore feature. That can be helpful if you just have a slide and you want to sort of jazz it up a little bit. Once we have these, let's create a blank one so that we can add some images to it. Fastest way to add an image is just to click this button here. You can also go through insert an image, but let's cut out a step. So you can upload from your computer, from Google Drive, from your camera or from a camera on your computer. For this one, we'll do the easy route and search the web. Let's find a cute little panda. I can click on him and then click insert and it'll show up right in my slideshow. I'm going to move it around. You'll notice some grid lines up here. That tells you where your image or any other element is lined up on the page. So once I have the image, I can, if I decide I want to change it, I can just replace it. I can crop it here. One of the cool things is you can actually crop it based on different shapes. So I can crop it with an arrow. Maybe I decide I want it in black and white. Under format, you'll find a few different options to adjust the picture. I'll click recolor. Let's recolor it to black and white. So that's how to work with images in there. If you want to add a link, same as before, you can do it one of two ways. So I'm going to get this URL here. I'll copy that. I can either just paste it on there and hit enter and it's a link, but you'll notice that's not the prettiest way to do it. So let's get rid of that. Fastest way to do it, highlight your text. You can either click on this insert link or use the shortcut command K. You'll see it has the text title up there and then the link. We're going to link so it looks like that. Still a link, people can still click on it and it'll take them where they need to go. One of the cool things about slides is you can actually link to different slides in the presentation. So you can make sort of a table of contents or a list. Let's say I want this to go to slide four. I'll click on it and it'll take me straight to slide four. This can be useful if you're creating a resource slide deck for your students. You can create all the topics at the beginning and list them out and then students can click on the topic and it'll take them directly to the slide with that information. So now that we've covered links, let's talk about videos. For videos, you can go insert and then go straight to video. You can search YouTube straight from here. You can use URL or Google Drive. Let's say we're teaching biology. Let's see if we can find a relevant video from YouTube. We'll talk about cell structure. 
So I can insert that video straight here. This can be really nice if you're looking at flipping your classroom. Google Slides can be a helpful tool in getting you started because you can create videos in here. Next to the video, you can actually put instructions or questions or activities for the students to do or think about as they're watching the video. When I present this, I can just click play and it'll play it straight within that slide. Those are a lot of the basics. For some of these other toolbar pieces, you'll want to click around, but for the most part, that'll get you up and ready to go so you can start using Google Slides.